feel like, you know, what's changed for you from year one to year two? Where have you made your biggest strides? Yeah, I think, uh, I just think being more comfortable, um, you know, playing at this level, you know, kind of first year here, everything's coming at you so fast. Um, you know, just getting used to the speed of the game is important. Um, so definitely having a season under your belt is, is good, but there's still a lot of improvements to, to go. Tyler, uh, Mike Pierce said uh, that he thinks you're a lot stronger than you were last year. Do you think that's the case or are you just better technically? Um, yeah, I think a little bit of both. Um, you know, obviously in the off season, still working on strength, um, trying to get better at technique, you know, putting myself in positions to where I can use my strength to my advantage. Um, just little things like that. Um, but yeah. So you have some really good pieces on this O line. Just what are your expectations for how good this group could be? Yeah. Um, you know, obviously only what, six, seven days in, um, you know, doing a lot of good things. Um, but, you know, there's still a lot of improvement to be done. Um, you know, I think from an execution standpoint, just being more consistent. Because um, at the end of the day, the O-line leads the charge. You know, we're the guys up front that set the tempo, set, um, you know, set the tempo of the game, um, you know, and, and make everything happen and let the playmakers around us do their thing. So. As a, I mean, as a coordinated group, are you guys well ahead of where you were at this point last year? I mean, obviously, Ronnie wasn't practicing at this point last year. You, you had the injury in camp, et cetera, et cetera. Is it? Um, yeah, I mean, I think from a number standpoint, we have a lot more guys, you know, and the young guys too are, are, are playing awesome football too, just showing a lot of, a lot of progress from OTAs into now into camp. Um, so definitely having more numbers, you know, more competition in the room always helps um, to push guys faster along. And then obviously, yeah, you know, knock on wood, obviously you don't want injuries to happen. So, um, yeah, whenever you have everyone there that can practice and, you know, Keep stacking the practices, keep stacking the days. That's good. Tyler, Joe says Ron? that he's seen a more confident you in year two. Where do you feel that the most? Um, yeah, I mean, I definitely feel more confident. I, I mean, it's like coming in, you know, into college as a as a freshman or something. You know, obviously you're going to be a little more more reserved in um, things you're going to say. But you know, I think as the season progressed last year, you know, I had to, I had to have a role of talking and speaking. Um, you know, because you know, going up there, making the calls, making the fronts, and being confident in them, um, so guys, you know, can follow you. But I think certainly, you know, as we progress, as you know, time goes on, just you know, continue to have that, build that leadership role, and have guys uh, go up there and trust me um, on what needs to be done. Tyler, as you look at Ronnie through this off season now, as he was able to be a fully healthy throughout and so far in camp, you see a di I mean, how different is it from what you saw a year ago at this point, where you're just trying to figure out even who he is or what he could be. Yeah, I mean, obviously, Ronnie, you know, you go back to film, what, five, six years ago, and he's on there playing really good football, and I think he's working his way to get back to that level, you know, obviously having his injury. Um, you know, he's worked his butt off to get to where he's at today, and he's and he's continuing to get better and better and better. Um, you know, and he's another guy, you know, that's played a lot of a lot of football. A lot of young guys can go to him, ask him questions. Um, he's very knowledgeable of the game, and he's like another coach. Um, in the room, so you know he's a good guy to have around and very knowledgeable about the game. But also, he plays really good football. Tyler, what, um, speaking of young guys, what have you seen out of you know, Salah? Um, you know, in a lot of ways, he was in the same position you were in years ago. Yeah, I, I think he's handled it well. Um, you know, obviously, kind of being thrown in into the fire with the ones. You know, he's he's done well. Um, you know, obviously. A lot of new stuff come up just because his first time in this offense um, in some of these plays. But, you know, he's handled it well. You know, he's, he plays with confidence. Um, and you can tell that in his game. And, you know, he's only going to get better and better. Um, so I'm excited for him. Any advice you've offered him? Say again? Any advice that you've offered him that he's thought of? Yeah, just play with confidence. You know, he's here for a reason. I think that's the biggest thing. Ronnie just got done saying that uh, you kind of flip a switch when you get angry on the football field. You don't take anything from anybody. He says that's an important trait for a center. Yeah. In your words, when, when you get angry on the football field, what play comes out? Um, you know, I just think I'm a competitive. You know, it's competitive spirit. You know, I think a lot of guys on this team have that. So, you know, anytime we're in a competitive situation, you know, a little fire comes out. So, I think it's a good thing to have. Did you get angry against Tampa Bay last year? <laughs> <laughs> um. No, I mean, it all depends. You know, whenever I step on the field and you, know, you got to play the game hard, you got to play it the right way. So sometimes things like that happen.
you look around the league and there are interior rushers being paid, like edge rushers. Just you know, how I guess what is kind of the bar for being a good interior pass blocker, considering just how advanced some of these guys are. Yeah, I mean, guys around the league, you know, they're getting better and better. Um, just at the end of the day, just being consistent, you know, in the game, um, you know, not not letting one or two plays, you know, build on top of each other, um, you know, because guys are skilled, guys are um, really good, but at the end of the day, you, we're all here for a reason, um, and I think O linemen are pretty good too. So, you know, it's our do- our jobs to stop guys like like uh, interior guys around the league. Uh, Thanks, Tyler. Thank you.